see we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins and we breaking the mold. Breaking out and we breaking the codes. Similar to the jack who stole to the depths in your web, so you take explosive. So get it out. Send your body to flight. What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly hitting you up with another reaction video to yet another Yankee game. And you know what? Before anything, happy Labor Day to everybody, um, for you and your family. If this is your first time on this channel or watching a video of mine, uh, I wanted to thank you first and foremost. And then I would like to tell you, make sure you do subscribe, hit a like, and a com you know, make sure you do comment. I do respond and try to reach all of my comments and i do thank you so much for your support uh twitter has been pretty interesting because everybody has been uh either very 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 supportive or just some people are just really against it which i don't understand why but anyway um today's game was great the yankees at first it looked like they were sleepwalking uh they were facing dylan bundy today able to get a win against uh the the orioles today which was a much needed win baltimore is a team that's right there on our heels trying to chase us and trying to get into the wild card uh, wild card game well the thing about them is they can hit the ball out of the ballpark Offense to them is not a problem one through nine it is not a problem however pitching for them is now they specifically pushed back Bundy to come in this start so that he could be able to face us. And the Yankees were able to get out a win. Gary Sanchez is also gone for this series because he was suspended. Um, the suspension was reduced by one game, so then that's good. The way that the game started, I think, um, uh, Beckham hit a ball opposite field he hit it out I'm like what the hell this guy just hit it out and then um, later on Davis hits an opposite field home run I'm like yo these guys are just they got their hitting shoes on man they're ready to go and the Yankees are looking like they're getting shut down by Bundy but Castro gets on base Didi hits a home run gets the offense going I mean the the Yankees end up not only with their offense, and you know, it's just so crazy how important Starlin Castro is to the lineup. Another dynamic part of the offense that was part of what was happening earlier in the season that made us so hot and why we were doing so well because, you know, he was just, he hits the ball and, I mean, he does strike out. He does swing out of the zone sometimes. You know, those things do happen with him. He Sometimes you want him to be selective, and he's not. But you got another hitter that's a different kind of hitter from somebody like uh, a judge that's trying to work out a pitch count. Uh, Holiday is trying to put together a professional at bat. You know, it's just different kind of people in the lineup. And it's good to see him up there. I mean, I believe he's batting on the year. 500. He's batting 500 on the year. I think it's 25 for 50 on pitches that he swings on the uh, when he swings on the first pitch. That's that's pretty crazy. It's definitely good to have starting Castro back, man. I mean, he's a integral part of the lineup. Uh, Didi, 20 home runs, and he missed a month. Just remember that he missed a month. Um, so then that's great. Uh, you had some uh, judge today got on base. He was on base five times, had one single and four freaking walks. That's one thing about judge, man. He gets on base. Even though he's struggling, he has not stopped getting on base, not stopped walking. That was good. Mon Montgomery today was mixed bag because of the three runs. I thought he pitched a little bit better after that. Uh, Joe Girardi took him out, I believe, after 67 pitches. Uh, that's fine. He has an innings limit. Chad Green came in and shut them down. I mean, he just flamed. If you guys ever watch, I don't know if you guys watch Game of Thrones or not. It's like the dragon that comes in and he just burns everything in sight. That is Chad Green. Because he came in today and he just shut him down. And the thing I love about Green, comes in, he throws strikes. He's not out there trying to walk people. He's not trying to nibble. He's not, None of that. He's out there, I'm going to get you out, I'm going to strike you out, and you're not going to hit me. And that's it. You know, he's just been a godsend for the Yankees. Chad Green, okay? Keep in mind, Chad Green was traded for Justin Wilson. And it wasn't just a straight-up trade, Justin Wilson. It was Justin Wilson was traded for Sessa and Green. And at the time, I remember the trade. They said he was traded, um, Justin Wilson was traded for two starting pitchers. They, just, they didn't even freaking mention the names. And it just said starting pitchers, and then they named the names after. Um, they, the ERAs weren't impressive. It wasn't anything too crazy. I think uh, Chad Green was a double-A pitcher at the time. And it's just, I mean, the, he's become a, a revelation. 
I mean, it's crazy. It's, what you think about it? Sessa, of course, he's gone for the year, and he, we seen him get rocked and things like that. But the guy throws ninety eight, and then you have Chad Green, who now he not even a starting pitcher right now. Put him in the in the in the bullpen, and look at what he's doing. I mean, he comes in, strikes out six, seven people, eats up a whole bunch of innings, and it's just so easy for Joe Girardi to just shorten the game so much with him. And he, Adam Warren is the same kind of guy. Those guys become more dangerous in the postseason. And I'll tell you why. And then this is why Cashman said that the Yankees are built for a postseason series. For postseason series. There are no back-to-back -back games in the postseason. There's always the day off in between. You can literally pitch Chad Green every day if you wanted to. Every single game if you wanted to. Because you have a day off after, pitch him two innings, day off, pitch him two innings, travel day. Probably get two days, pitch him. I mean, if you really wanted to do that, I mean, that's that's crazy. So the Yankees are built for the postseason. I think that we can be a very dangerous team going into the postseason if we can be able to get in. But we need to get in and get into a series. And hopefully we're making the Red Sox sweat. They're down actually three zip right now. And we can be able to do it. But... Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. How'd you guys feel about today's game? I, I know I probably missed a couple of things, but I wanted to do this because I got to go inside real quick for a barbecue. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy your Labor Day. Don't forget about the Q&A, guys. Uh, make sure you leave your Q&A questions. The Q&A is going to happen on Wednesday this week. So I'm going to start picking out a couple of questions. Um... You know, probably starting from today, tomorrow, you know, those kind of things and be able to do the Q&A from there, man. But like I always say, make sure you do keep the pinstripes on, keep the pinstripes strong and let's go Yankees, man. Let's go ahead. Let's go win tomorrow. CeCe's on the mound. Let's see, man. But let's go Yankees, yeah. man. Peace. Hey, hey,